presented by 2K Sports as we continue to get you ready for the upcoming 2009-10 season right here on NBA TV. Today we are coming to you from Salve Regina University in Newport, Rhode Island, which is a training camp home of the Boston Celtics for the second straight year. The green team appears to be fully locked and loaded as you're looking at their captain, Paul Pierce, right there for a serious run at an NBA record 18th championship this season. And you know, KG and Rajon Rondo will be a big part of all of that. We've got all of the training camp stories, a little bit of training camp action, and of course, the training camp sound. Again, NBA Real Training Camp presented by 2K Sports. Come on inside, folks, as we welcome you to Salve Regina University and, well, the crowd enjoying the action. They were just involved here. I'm Andre Aldridge, along with a man who really needs no introduction when it comes to all things Celtic. How about a guy who has two NBA championships, um, NBA Finals MVP, yep, and, uh, and a veteran broadcaster, Cedric Maxwell. Good to be out here with you, Max. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. This is going to be a great day. I anticipate a lot of great things. There's going to be a lot of excitement watching the Celtics today practice. Well, I tell you what, as, this, as the NBA's most storied franchise because of championships and history and everything, it's good to check them out from beginning uh, to end as far as this workout goes. And uh, a little bit earlier today, before this skirmish goes on, behind us right now. Doc Rivers got with his troops and kind of talked about everything he wanted to get accomplished. Let's listen in. Uh, play a couple replay games before everybody comes in. Uh, and then once everybody comes in, we're going to just do a three eight-minute scrimmage. Uh, and uh, the first team will be basically we'll call them out, then we'll we'll make some trades in between the second and then the third game, we'll play a third game. All right? Let's try to have a, a focus. You know, we got a day off tomorrow, so let's try to take advantage of this day. Get better. All right? Boo two on three. Boo two. One, two, three. Boo two. All right. Glenn, Doc Rivers there with the, uh, again, an NBA champion coach, a former NBA coach of the year, and uh, uh, Cedric, there isn't much that he doesn't bring to the table for this veteran squad. Well, you know, that's what I would say about Doc Rivers, always one thing. Barack Obama, if he was a coach in the NBA, <laughs> this would be Doc Rivers. You know, for more than one thing, Doc Rivers is a politician. He's a guy who understands the nuances of the game. He follows the game. He's very friendly with the political matters here. You think about one thing in particular. Anytime he goes out with the press, Doc works at miracles. There's nobody like Doc Rivers. You get the opportunity to see him. He was working the crowd before the game. Before and now the he's working today. Yeah, before the practice. Now he's working even over the computers now. Uh, uh, amazingly, he had never coached before. Uh, I guess he coached his daughter's eighth grade team, but before getting the Orlando Magic job there, so has done a great, great job. Let's uh, go out to the court. Uh, we got a couple of players mic'd up. Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, and let's kind of listen in and kind of uh, eavesdrop on the scrimmage going on behind us.
Hey, pass this guy around and slip. Just Come on, y'all. What happened? Up. No. If I see that, I'm gonna slip early. That was off. I can slip that. I can slip that on you. Hey. Wait. Wait. Andre Aldridge and Cedric Maxwell here with you. And, and Cedric, as we kind of ease back in here on the scrimmage, you know, the number one, well, the guy with the ball right there, number five, the number one question coming into uh, Celtics camp, not just for the fans of the Seas, but for all basketball fans, is the health of Kevin Garnett. And I know Kevin has been going five on five, and he says he is 100% uh, back to what KG used to be. What have you been seeing? Well, yeah, you know, what I see is a lot of great footwork, and really I'm impressed by him with his strength right now, using his legs. But at the same time, until you play that first game in the NBA, you really don't know. He's a star. He's been a star in this league, but to get the bumps in practice is a different than really playing in the official game, but I like what I see so far. See Kevin here on the baseline, a little shovel pass off, but you, you look at his legs now. See, is he limping, coming back down, or see, is he in full stride? That's what you want to see. Does it look like a limp to you? Doesn't look like a limp. Look like he has a natural gait. Mm -hmm. Kevin isn't like the most, at times, doesn't like he's the most graceful guy in the world, so it looks like he might be limping. But I talked to Danny Ainge, talked to Doc Rivers. Both guys said right now that everything is structurally sound right now with the knee. So Kevin Garnett will have some fatigue in it until he gets mm -hmm. back into game shape. And we saw him working against uh, Rasheed Wallace, a new addition that we will be talking a lot about a little bit later on. But let's take you Did back Did we hit to... the mute button at all when we hear those two guys talking? <laughs> you know what? We didn't have to hit the mute button. They know they're on NBA TV. It's all good. Let's take you back to February, though, when the uh, injury, uh, which was actually an aggravation of of a problem that he had uh, 